and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going over the Madden market. Now, as you guys know, there was that unlimited training glitch, unlimited coin making method glitch that got Fox exposed, that EA had to patch. The market took quite a dip after that. I'm going to go check if it has recovered at all. What's my personal recommendations for the market? As you guys know, we did get a Super Bowl LTD yesterday, which means we are, be we are going to be getting Super Bowl content sporadically throughout this week, which as well means that we're probably going to be getting a decent amount of market shifting throughout the week going into NFL Honors, as well as the Super Bowl on top of the Super Bowl promo with the Super Bowl MVP and everything else that comes with it. With the market shifting a lot this week, I figure, you know, got to keep up with it as much as we can this week. As well as, I kind of want to go over what happened after the whole limited training glitch and EA patching it. They did patch it, which means the market should be back to normal, but we always got to check, right? Now, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn that noty bell. Come join the family. I greatly pre appreciate each and every one of you guys that come out on a weekly basis, on a daily basis, every day at 1030. Hopefully, you guys checked out my 1030 video today. If you have not already, go back down below and check it out. Hopefully, it was some fire. I'm recording this before then, so hopefully, there was an LTD that came out. I'm praying at this point. It's always good to start the day off with a nice LTD banger content video. And guys, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 300 likes on this video? Be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much. Let's get into this video. So, let's head over to the market. We did get a Mel Renfro yesterday, which LTDs typically don't affect the market too much. The only LTDs that truthfully affected the market were the Mutt 10 LTDs, like Michael Vick, like those guys. But in, real, in, in reality, one drop of LTDs haven't really been affecting anything because not a lot of them. People already up to, like, to terms with, I'm not going to drop all my coins on LTDs, so... It's a different state now. Back when Madden first started, LTDs actually affected things. Not so much anymore for the most part. So let's check our 88 indicator. Like I said, I don't know if this works anymore, but I, like, I still like to check it because obviously with all the sets and stuff, prices have been changing. 28K, so it's around. The, it's coming up a little bit. It was about 27. 1K is a big difference here though because 1K here is 10, 15K somewhere else. So I always like to check this. always think it's a nice way to start. 991s. Let's see what we're working with here. 50K. Can you believe that? Willie Brown 50k. I remember when this game first started and I was buying like John Elway was 500k and like Willie Brown was like 350. I remember those days when Willie Brown was one of the best cornerbacks in Madden. Wow, have things have changed, guys. It's weird, right? Like I feel like just yesterday we were just starting off the Madden 20 grind and things are just going. Things are just starting off. I remember like it was yesterday. It's crazy, but I cannot wait for Madden 21 at this point, guys. It's gonna it's gonna go crazy next year. I always love the start of Madden, so it's always nostalgic to go back through these cards. Sometimes I feel like that's why I do these videos, just going back through all these old cards, seeing the price change. Steve Young, by the way, guys, still one of the best budget beast quarterbacks in Madden. You could probably scoop him up for even like 60k if you wait for the right price, especially on a Saturday when legend packs are out. Definitely a great time. Lawrence Taylor. It's crazy, right? Some of these cards were the best cards at their positions. Some of these cards were the best drops in Madden at the time. And now they just lost in the old filter. It's a shame. Come to the 92s and 93s. 89 Ty Law. I mean, 89K for Ty Law. Like, that's a full 92 overall legend in the 80K range. That's unreal. Prices have just really... They're not what they used to be, boys. See, this is part of it, though. Prices did take a pretty big hit, as you guys can see. They didn't take... They, they are recovering a little bit because, obviously, with the thing being patched, there's a lot less... Uh, coins and training fluctuated, which means that things are stabilizing a little bit. If they, drop, if they do drop an LTD today, which I'm hoping they already did at this point, so don't. I love when people do that. I, I tell you that I recorded this before, and people were like, uh, "I don't know why you're talking about an LTD. One already came out." Well, yeah, I know one came out, but I, I won't know that till till later. And I made the video on it, so obviously I know it came out. But anyways, besides the point. Hopefully that comes out, but I don't think it'll affect much. As far as legends go, you guys always know the dates. Check these are on Saturdays when they do drop legend packs. Remember though, legend packs are stopping. I believe in like a week or so. I don't think there's going to be many more legend packs. So that does mean for all you guys who like to buy legend players, the last time to really snipe them, snipe is going to be around then. Some of the legend pieces might even go up because they're going to stop being pulled as often. So uh, it's quite quite a possibility there. Series Redux cards, as per usual, pretty cheap. Now I would say Andrew Luck's not bad. He's a really good budget piece quarterback, guys. He's probably better than Steve Young. The only issue is that. I don't know if they'll ever get another upgrade. Like, I would hope EA gives him another card. Maybe they'll give him, like, a legend card or something. But they should definitely give him an upgrade so you can get an upgrade to this career tribute, Andrew Luck. That'd be super cool. And like I've been saying, guys, a decent investment still, Julius Peppers and Joe Thomas. I believe Mutt 10 cards should be getting an upgrade at some point because at least, like, eight of them already gotten upgrades. There's really not many left that haven't got upgrades yet, so we're definitely waiting on those. The only ones left are... Julius Peppers and Joe Thomas. I just don't know when they'll fit them in. I don't know if Julius Peppers played in the Super Bowl, so I don't know if they can fit him in now. But maybe maybe a combine warrior. I really don't know. Now, as we go on down, Lamar Jackson's price is still high as ever because people are anticipating 
his glitchy uh, his glitchy MVP card that we're probably gonna be getting in the very very near future. Probably around like between February second and February sixth. I don't know when they'll drop between them, but I don't remember if they drop it the day after the the award ceremony or they dropped a few days after. And I'm pretty sure they usually bracket them too, like they announce them because you see the rewards in real life, and then they bracket them as they drop them. So I mean, we'll know who it is when the awards happen on that day, but we won't know when they're gonna be in game until they announce that. Let's go over to the 9495s. Remember, with the new series coming soon, we're gonna be getting a lot of new series up, uh, series Redux cards. We haven't gotten some in quite a while because of how delayed EA has been on series updates. It's, this like it's been very behind. So it's felt like forever since we have gotten like 94 plus series Redux players. But all those LTDs that have come out in the last series, more than likely most of them will be a series Redux card. Although some of them towards the end of the series won't be included in because that's just how EA does it. So definitely make sure you check the list to see who will and won't be included. It's usually up on Mudhead.com somewhere. Now heading on down. Legends, decent price for Legends now. I don't really recommend much of these Legends. I remember when I told you guys don't buy Von Miller or Aaron Rodgers for 700k or 600k. They'll be in like the high 300s to mid 400s. Well, here they are. They're, almost, they're like in the high 400s and they're slowly working their way down. They just weren't they weren't bound to take to keep that price. I told you, Von Miller is good, but he's not insane. And he doesn't fit all the schemes, especially if you have Lawrence Taylor. And then Aaron Rodgers isn't insane either. They were big name drops, I'll give you that. Those were really fun name drops. Definitely was excited when those cards did drop. But I don't think I'd have to pick up either one myself. At this point, I say it's like a healthy price point to pick up Von Miller and Rogers. Well, Von Miller, I'd pick him up around 380. 380 to 420, I think would be a pretty good price for him. And then Aaron Rodgers is probably more of like a 320. I really don't think he's that great. I mean, his his release is what everyone says is what makes him so great, though. So if you guys if you guys are sold in that release, by all means, go ahead, pick up those cards. That's really up to you guys based on what you guys think. I don't think he's worth it at the, the current price point. Now, let's check out some of these Super Bowl cards, because obviously some of the Super Bowl cards are in here. They're all around like 220 They're all pretty stagnant pricing. I mean, the one good thing about this year's Madden is doing the sets and stuff have been a lot cheaper because things aren't as crazy priced they used to be. Some of these cards last year would be like 350k, 400k. It really used to add up. You could have done a set for like 1.7 million coins. You really needed a lot of capital to do things. And this year is just not the same way, which is good to it to an extent, but then also harmful to an extent because like a lot of the times we're not able to get, like, it makes things too cheap. So either everyone has it or vice versa. Things don't hold value. Like everyone has a Bo Jackson. Cars don't hold value. Certain cars don't hold value at all because it just they, they go cheap right away. So you have to just wait till they get cheap and then everyone has them. It's been a weird year. I don't really mind it because that means a lot of people can afford all the cards they want. But still, still comes to a point where it's like kind of weird that it's like that because Madden's never been known to be like that. Now Team of the Year cards, they've kind of recovered a little bit to a slight bit. Actually, let's go check out the 85 ones. These were pretty cheap yesterday. I don't mind if they came down actually because I do want to pick up some team of the year cards. I don't have a single team of the year card on my team. So yeah, these were like 215, 210, 220. They've come back up a little bit. Some of them came up quite a bit more than they were yesterday. Again, remember guys, coming up 20 to 15k doesn't mean they didn't go up. That, that's a big difference. Like that's like that could be five to ten percent of the card value going up. That's a pretty big difference in Madden. So I, things have shifted back up after the glitch. But like I said, with all the Super Bowl content coming out and then all the NFL honors coming out and everything coming out, I don't think they're gonna hold value for too long. But I don't think they're gonna crash either. I think they're gonna slowly go down. And most people don't care about losing 20k. You lose, you care about losing like 70k, 50k. With reduction, it's very possible you lose that anyways, despite anything. So you always gotta stay tuned for that. Right, so as you guys probably know at the point of watching this video, I did record this in two segments. So we are getting a free 96 LTD, limited time. No run for yes, I said limited time twice there, but it sounded cooler that way. So as you guys know, if you did open up any of the 82 plus packs, you will be receiving a free LTD Mel Renfro by this Friday to make up for the uh, the glitch in the game where we couldn't even pull them out of the packs. Make sure to go check out my 10:30 video after this to get full details on that. But because of that, guys, some things did just change in the market. First off, all cowboy cards that go into the Mel Renfro set are super expensive because now people want to be able to power them up. So if you have any cowboy golds or cowboy elites, I recommend you sell them. I just sold my Frederick for like 50k. I just sold my Jordan Lewis for like 12k, my Jason Witten for 12k, my Xavier Woods for 12k. It's been a ton of coins off cowboy cards. So if you have them, make sure to go ahead and sell them while you still can before the prices go back to normal. As well as if you have like Travis Frederick, Byron Jones, another great card to sell is one of them. Definitely going to be a great value. And Mel Renfro now is dropping in price pretty significantly because we are all getting a free one by Friday. He was like 750 now he's 530 in the last two hours. It is what it is, guys. I mean, I think this is one of the best things EA's ever done. It does kind of suck that I actually didn't open one, which I'm kind of upset about. But for everyone else, I'm happy for all you guys. You guys deserve this. A free 96 LTD. That's super cool. And you might not be able to power him up because his power-up card does go for like 200k now. So if you have a Mel Renfro power-up, guys, I recommend two things. You sell it or you sell it. I don't think it's even worth powering him up. I'd rather have him base 96 and then sell it 
and then wait a little bit and see if his power comes back down. Now, I don't think his power up really come back down too much, only because that power up's not exactly the you don't come by that that often. It's one of the rare ones. His theme diamond power ups I don't really see too often, as well as people don't really have a use for it. And to get him, you have to do the theme diamond set also, and that set's super expensive now. But I'd recommend you sell the power up. 200k is so worth it. And then, excuse me, and then just wait until he goes down. But guys, that is about it for the video. Hope you guys do enjoy. I don't think it's a time to buy just yet. Things have stabilized a little bit. I would probably wait until Super Bowl present drops tomorrow. Wait for that, see what comes out, and then start working on what you want to buy. And as always, guys, save money for that Lamar Jackson because that card's going to be awesome. Guys, better for the video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn the Naughty Bell Boys. Come join the family. Make sure to comment down below what you guys are doing with your coins right now. What you guys plan to do. If you have Mel Renfro power, make sure to let me know down below because you guys are some lucky men. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get to 500 likes in this video, guys? That'd be super awesome if we could. Let's make it happen, Naughty Gang. Gotta go strong. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.